Hello and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while and when I mean a while I mean like a year. Sorry about that. I just wasn't happy with the content I was posting. I was still fresh into the hobby and wasn't 100% happy with like my enclosure setups and all that good stuff. So we are back and I am going to try and be a lot more consistent with this and just put out really good videos, informational content, you know, morning routines with the reptiles kind of videos. And today we are doing an introduction to all nine of my reptiles. Yes, nine. Um, I love them all. They all have their own personalities. They're all super special to me. Um, we have a couple new ones and yeah, so that will be this video just going over their enclosures, meeting everyone and all that good stuff. So if you could definitely like, comment, and subscribe, that would be great. And let's get into the video. This is Dexter, my two-year-old dragon. He is the sweetest of the three, I believe. Um, and I love him so much. He is a rescue. He actually was rescued and they said that he didn't really have like a window to look out of. So he is obsessed with looking out of his enclosure and just hanging and seeing what everyone's doing. He's such a good boy. And then we have his enclosure set up. It's really nice. I love his background. Food, water, all the things. T5, UVB. And he he's all set and spoiled. Yeah. On to the next one. And then we have Rex. We have a Dex and a Rex. This is Rex. He's just a mess. We also rescued him. He is, I guess, in mating season. He is just so cranky and bossy right now. But he is two also. Um, and we rescued him down the road. It was a kid who could care less about him. So I went and grabbed him. This is his enclosure. Sorry for the mess. Um, he is throwing a tantrum. So look at him. He just looks like a little punk. But he is a good boy when he's not cranky and trying to mount everything, mister. <laughs> On to the next. This is Ham, my newest boy. He is a blue tongue skink. This is his enclosure setup. It's kind of plain right now because he is new. I just wanted to make sure he was okay. We did have him on a little bit of a tile type substrate just to make sure he's all good and healthy before putting him on a, you know, loose substrate. But he is five years old and he is a sweet, sweet boy. For being new, he's very, like, quickly to warm up to us, which is really surprising because not many are. But yeah, he's just chilling. Um, his setup's really nice and simple and soon we're definitely going to be sprucing it up a little. But for now, this is what he's working with. He is loving the heat and his UVB. I don't think he had it before. Now back over here to the enclosure under Dexter, we have Charlie, my blue tongue skink, who is the love of my life. I love her. She's such a good girl. Um, so Charlie is very active <laughs> and wants to see everything and do everything and be included. It's really cute. But yeah, all the food and water and then her enclosure is all set up. She has a really nice enclosure. I, I really like this setup just because of the vines. A lot of them I can't do that with just because they will try and eat them. But her, she's a good girl and she knows not to eat the fake plants. So she gets the, the nice background of the vines and she has to tell you something. Are you going to tell them something? <laughs> you love it, huh? You love attention. And then the third dragon, who is actually my first dragon, is Onyx. And she has food on her face, yes. And destroyed her food bowl. But she has a pretty nice setup as well. Kind of like a hammock stick shape going on and she loves sitting up there and she loves her stick here under the heat bulb but yeah they all have t5 um uvbs and you know their basking bulb 
temperatures are as they should be. Dragons, you want to be 100 to 110 um, degrees Fahrenheit on, as for the basking, and then cold side about like 90 degrees on the hot side. Cold side, you want to be 75, 80, and that's exactly where we're at. I know it's hard to see, but it says 78 and then 45%. Humidity, I'm a little bit not too picky about. As long as it's between 30 and 50, I'm happy, and that's about where it should be. But yeah, this is Onyx. She is a little over one. She'll be two soon-ish, um, but yeah, she is definitely the one that started it all for me and she's pretty spoiled and happy huh yep look at that smile she looks happy to me <laughs> this is kilo's enclosure my panther chameleon it's a four by two by two he has a t5 as well an led for plants and a heat bulb for basking and keeping his enclosure the right temps he does have a dripper as well as a fogger and i do the misting myself every night and morning he is a very good looking boy he does not appreciate the camera though um not a fan but anyways he is definitely living his best life in this enclosure i really like it um i would like to replace it because it's very flimsy but you know that's okay it's fine for now and it works so these are pothos plants i'm not sure about these two as well but they are living and that's good enough for me because i can't keep anything alive but all of these plants have been here for a hot minute which has been great because i just don't know what i'm doing as far as the plants go um i can't keep plants alive but i can keep animals and people alive i guess <laughs> Um, but yeah, so he has that and that's his enclosure. I would like to add more sticks in the near future. Um, I just got to go get some. He has like different size and thickness of the dowels that you just get from, uh, Home Depot, I guess, Lowe's. And yeah, that's his setup. And this is Ziggy, my crested gecko, her enclosure. She is hiding right now, but maybe I will add in a picture or a video of her. She has a lot going on. She does have a bioactive setup as far as like, you know, the marbles or whatever you want to call it, clay pebbles, uh, mesh, and then the dirt, and then some isopods. She does have fake plants in here. Um, I'm not a fan of the live plants just because I have trouble keeping them alive and then bugs and it gets to be a mess, but she has cork bark. She has all kinds of things. She has her coconut that's covered thanks to her. Um, she has some branches that are going across into the vines. She is in the vines. That's where she likes to hide. If she is hiding or sleeping, she usually does stay on the stick though, for the most part, to watch everyone and see what they're doing. I call her our little crackhead because she is absolutely nuts for food and just in general. But yeah, she is in there. She is a year old and will be two years old coming up. This is Vlad, my Russian tortoise's setup. He does have the T5, heat bulb, food, water. He has plastic to hold in some humidity. Right now I'm not really using it, but he does have it. So when it is, you know, getting colder and drier, he'll be good to go. He's in here somewhere, who knows where. Every now and then you'll hear him like scratching at the bottom of the tub and where he is, no idea. But he's in there, hopefully. <laughs> Um, he is living his best life. This is an 120 gallon tub. I'd like to get him a bigger one. I just don't know if I want to make it or buy it or what yet. So, but he has plenty of room really. Um, he's not too big and he likes his little enclo enclosure. So, yeah. I do keep roaches in this bin for all of these guys. And then we have Echo. She is my leopard gecko. Excuse the mess because it looks a little bit messy. But yeah, she has her hut. She has a great enclosure. I love hers as well. She is another one that won't eat the plants, so that's helpful. Um, she has a really nice setup. I like how hers looks in the bridge and sticks. That's her humid hide. And then, you know, you see the vines. There she is. 
she's so sweet look at that face so perfect say hi to the camera sorry did we wake you so sorry And that is it for the reptiles and their enclosures. It's just a quick overview for you guys to see like where we're at since I last posted a video. Um, it's been a while, but I do want to get more consistent and keep up with it. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you like this video. Definitely like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know which uh, reptile that you liked out of the nine. Um, I can't pick, but I'd love to hear what you guys think. But yeah, thanks. Oh,